everybody. Welcome back. It's Adita uh, with another quick and dirty tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to attach a rhinestone iron-on transfer on the back of a shirt or a sweatshirt. Um, what you need is your material, your iron-on transfer, a lint roller, very important, and your iron set at the cotton setting. To begin, you're going to want to press this on something solid. You're not so I've just got a piece of chipboard here on my counter. You don't want to do it on your ironing board because it's too soft and it pushes in. So you want something solid here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this sweatshirt. And normally this one, I don't know if you can tell, it's got a seam down it so I know where the center is. But if my fabric doesn't have a center, what I would normally do is fold it in half, press it so I have a nice crease line, and then proceed. But here we have this, so we're good. Um, the reason I use the roller, the lint roller, is because some people, like myself, have pets or just the cloth gets messy or dirty. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay it out on my board and then I'm going to roll it good. Okay, and this is so easy. Okay, now this hoodie, it's got a hood and I want, if I were to place the transfer up high, the hood is probably going to cover most of it. So for me, it's personal preference, up to you how you want to place it. But I'm folding this hood up a little bit, and I have my center line. Now what you'll see here is my iron-on transfer. And what I've done is I've figured out where the center part is, up and down. Mm -hmm. And I've drawn a line right on the top with just a marker. Okay, because that's going to help me with placement to make sure I'm straight on this thing. So simply remove the transfer and this is sticky here and don't worry if you don't get it down right in the first time because this will this is loose so it allows you to move up and down so I'm going to center my transfer on that seam or on the line that you've pressed so I know that this is perfect and then push down okay do you see that is that good okay so do not press with your iron directly on this because this will cause this plastic to melt a little bit. What you want to do, even though it's a heat resistant transfer tape, you're going to take a pressing cloth and lay it on top of your transfer, move that out of the way, and then with your hot iron you are going to press and raise. Do not move it around because that could move your rhinestones from the transfer position. You're just going to press and raise. On a large transfer like this, I start in one area and press down and hold for like 10-15 seconds. So just count it in your head. Hmm. And then you lift up directly and then you press down in another portion. You're going to continue to repeat this throughout the whole transfer to make sure you have it in place. Rhinestone transfers are a wonderful way to decorate shirts. You can get them for like birthday party themes, for wedding themes, just about anything you need. Okay, let's take a look see here. Now do you see how that, that's heated a little bit? Let it cool just a second. And then slowly peel up one end. If the rhinestones come up with the tape, that means that you haven't heat, heated down enough and all you have to do is put it down and press again. But it looks like, up, see right here? I don't know if you can tell, but there's stones right here. I didn't get down here. So again, just lay it, cover it, and press again. And hold it down. It really doesn't take too long. Now, I don't know if you noticed, but I've got a piece of um, chipboard here on the table underneath the jacket. The reason I have that there is in case the glue that's on the back of the rhinestones goes through, it's not going to adhere on the back of whatever I have. So if you're doing this on a t-shirt, you need to put a piece of um, chipboard or a, hard, a heavy cardboard in between to hold that to make sure nothing, the glue doesn't go in. So, Okay, now they've stuck. Okay. And then you just slowly peel, take your time with it. Oop. Okay. Another place up here that didn't. And there's no rush with this. I mean, you just continue to do it over and over. 
And that's why you take your time and just press down, up and down. And the even pressure is very important as well. Sometimes when you have transfers that have two size stones, you're not getting the same pressure on the little little ones that you do on the tall ones. So we press down again. We're almost there. There we go. Okay. Go up here. I feel like I should have music in the background for you or sing a song. Okay. I'm just double checking, making sure that there's nothing being left behind anywhere. And there we go. Use that so this is full, you don't need that anymore. Okay, so there you see it. Now, to ensure that this is secure on here, the glue's gone through. Do you see that? Okay. Keep calm and bake on. I'm going to flip this over. And you can kind of see, I don't know if you can, you see the outline? There's kind of like a shading in here. You want to make sure that this glue that's on the back of the rhinestones comes through all the way onto the back of your uh, piece of fabric there to ensure that it holds really well. So we're going to go ahead. Now this time, you can, you can kind of push and move because these rhinestones are now down on the fabric. You just want it, you're, what you're doing now is you're just pulling the glue up off the back of the rhinestone into the material itself to make sure that they're adhered really, really well. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so there is this one. Isn't that pretty? This one says keep calm and bake on. I don't know if you can see it all. Nice and sparkly. So that's one method to do it. The other method, I'm going to put a little cupcake here on the front of the sweatshirt, is you basically just look at it and you decide where you want to put your placement. So here I am, mm -hmm. right about here, and I've got this little cupcake transfer. So we're just going to put it right here. So you can just peel it up and this one I'm not measuring, it's just going to land where it goes. So I'm going to say right about there. Okay. And then we're just going to take cloth again and this time just hold it. It's a small one so it's it's going to go like probably the one thing. Um, as far as care of rhinestone uh, shirts and hoodies and things you want to wash them in cold water. You want to shake them and then hang dry. You do not want to run them through the dryer. You can tumble a little bit but you definitely don't want to leave them in the dryer for a long time. Okay. See? There we go, and that's down. And don't worry, sometimes you'll see like a little white, a little ghost shadow. Once this cools down, the fabric will go back to the same color it was. So don't worry about that little iron mark you're looking at. 
So I'm going to put it, turn, flip it over right there. And I'm going to press one more time to make sure the glue is pulled through. And that's it, see? And there we have the little cupcake on the front of the t-shirt. So that's how you um, put on rhinestone transfer onto your clothing. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you know you can always email me. And I guess that's about it. So have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.